Hey y'all, hey Amanda here, and sorry if I sound out of breath, I just ran up the stairs. My computer was dying and I needed my charger and it was downstairs. Anyway, today we're doing a rewind plan with me for the week of April 10th through the 16th. I was going to be showing a really cute coffee kit from Sticker Guru for this week, but you'll see that for next week's plan with me because since I was doing this one in rewind, I didn't want to waste all of the elements included in that kit with like the checklists and things. So I went for a bit of more sparse kit. This station sticker subscription kit, I think from sometime last year, it might have even been April last year, was perfect because it's sparse but it's still pretty and the colors actually lend to being, to um, incorporating other things really easily as you can see right here because I'm adding in all of these Erin Condren stickers as my washi on the bottom and I love the way it came out honestly. It's cute on video, it's even cuter in person. I'm obsessed with it, it looks so nice. And I really enjoyed incorporating the metallics since the station stickers um, subscription that I'm using has blue metallic, actually. I don't know if that'll show up on camera well or not, but it is metallic and it's really cute. And then I just threw in that quote box as well. Life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. How true is that? Oh, sorry, I need a drink of water. And so now I am using a double header sticker from Have a Parade in this purple shade because I needed to use up two header spaces. One, as you'll see when I get to the header covers that are, um, are what am I talking about? The header stickers. Yes, they're headers. Why can't I remember what things are called? Anyway, as you can see, two of the colors I used, I was missing a strip from. So, I had to cover up two boxes anyway. So, the double header sticker just worked really well for both of those purposes as the weekend background and to cover up two boxes. And these header stickers I am using are from Soda Pop Studio. They're just very plain bold basic colors and they actually worked really nice and I just did a um, alternating pattern with them. I'm losing my words today. It has been the longest day but I keep pushing off doing my voiceover because I keep just devoting my energy to other things and I gotta stop doing that because I actually really enjoy doing voiceovers and just chatting and I don't know why I push them off. So now I am just adding a little box there because we went to an emo night at, down in the city. And I don't know if they have them by you guys. There's a company actually called Emo Night LA and they put on these like emo dance parties. Although having been to it now, it's honestly more pop punk. But it was still fun. And like the lighter girlier side of pop punk a lot of the music was. I was expecting a lot harder music a lot more like traditional emo music but oh, i'm just being a bit of an emo purist if that even exists that's the most ridiculous thing that i may have ever said in my life but you know whatever and then i'm putting down these tv stickers in the alternating purple and teal i'm not sure exactly what shop those are from but the little light bulb sticker that is on saturday that is from sweet kawaii design and then I'm putting down some baseball stickers and I don't believe that shop is open anymore so I'm not even gonna bother looking it up. And then from one of these little Plinercon samplers I took a bunny and just stuck it on Easter because it was Easter. And that bunny, I don't know why, I'm just so in love with how fat it is. I think it is so funny. Oh crap, it is 8 o'clock and Survivor is coming on. Oh well, I'm already, I'm already four minutes into this and I'm dedicated. It's time to keep voiceovering. So I was writing down the wins and losses for the Orioles and then realized, oops, I swapped two days by accident. So I just peeled the stickers up and switched them because that was nice and easy. And then I filled in with a little bit of writing. Some of you have commented that I write really strangely. And I don't know why. My mom writes like that too. So I, I guess it's not that strange. And other people have wrote, oh, you write just like me. I thought I was just weird. But no, me and my mom write like that. My brother doesn't. I don't think my dad does. 
It's just how I hold the pen. It's just how it feels comfortable to me. But yeah, so I'm putting down some little checks for some things that I had going on at work just so I could keep on top of that and remember what exactly meetings I had that week. I'm involved in a lot more um, large-scale meeting preparation lately, so it's important for me to kind of keep track of when we meet and when we do what and which plannings we're in the middle of, just because it's kind of a lot more critical to my job at the moment. And then we had a girls' lunch. We went out to sushi. Obviously, I don't eat fish sushi anymore since I'm vegan. But I have all these fish sushi stickers, and they're still cute. So that one is from Papered Love. I, all my sushi stickers I have left from Papered Love are kind of big. So whenever I get a chance like this to use them, I just go right ahead and use them because they're kind of giant. I don't always have a chance to use giant stickers. Then I used the Angry Rainbow Poo from Boulder Bond. I am obsessed with that sticker because I had something happen at work that was really annoying and I had to completely rework the entire agenda of a meeting. And then I used that Mambi sticker right under there that says, if it was easy, everyone would do it because I needed that encouragement. And then right there, we went to my favorite restaurant, Polly G's, which is a pizza place. And they have a whole vegan menu. I mean, they've got a giant regular menu, too, of pizza options. But they have a whole vegan menu, too. And it's so good. And um, I just noticed that one of the stickers said night out, so I just swapped them out. That pizza sticker is from Tula Bees, and it is, like, old school Tula Bees. Like, it has to be at least two years ago, if not longer. So you probably can't get that anymore, but I don't know. I I haven't been shopping for stickers, so I really haven't checked out her shop recently. But probably, I don't think that she does stickers like that anymore. Last time I checked, she was doing a lot of kits, but those are really cute pizza stickers. And then I had this laundry sticker that was just a random one-off that I'd cut out from some other kit and hadn't used yet. And I was filling in here with just marking that Austin went out of town. I've been using a lot of full boxes as well from the Erin Condren sticker books to fill in where I didn't necessarily need all of the paper space to write things. Like right there. And this one's so cute. It says today is and then there was a little perfect sticker and I thought that was so sweet. I really like how that came together. I enjoyed it a lot. Now I'm using a film slate sticker from Bonnie's shop Boulder Bond and putting that I needed to plan. And actually that purple matched perfectly. So I couldn't have found a better sticker to use to mark um, filming. And then the other little film slate sticker is from Libby & Co. The one that I use on Sunday. And that actually worked out really well too. I was surprised how much teal and purple I had in my collection of stuff, but it really came together nicely. And honestly, this is one of my favorite weeks I've done this year. So I'm really pleased with it. And then last minute I remembered, crap, I baked cookies on Thursday. I better mark that too because I hardly ever bake anymore. Mostly because I just don't crave a lot of sweet things, so. That's just that. I used a Mambi sticker from one of their fitness books. It's just a little gold star. And then another Mambi sticker that says beauty is all around. And I just layered that on top of two round stickers from the station stickers kit. And actually you'll notice right around, right about here, while I struggle to cut this sticker because it won't stick. Anyway, I did order one of those slice cutters from Amazon. And except for the fact that I was really struggling with this particular sticker, I really like it. I've been enjoying it. So I highly recommend that. If I remember, I'll link it down below. If not, Mandy Plans always links it because she uses it a lot. And honestly, it's really easy to find. Just type it into Amazon and it'll pop up. So you won't have any trouble finding it if you don't use someone's link. It's just fine. Oh, I can hear Austin coming in the door. So I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, you can give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them down below. And if you'd like to stick around for a while, um, you can hit the subscribe button. Otherwise, I will talk to you all later. Bye!